Hi everyone, it's Leona with Leona's Designs, and I'm here with Stitch With Me 2024, hosted by Danella Mellon on YouTube, and it's for the month of June. The prompt is Monogram. And as I've done in previous months, I hope to create a 6 by 6 inch block <clears throat> for a wall hanging, and I've used each month I've used a scripture verse uh, to create my block according to the prompt. And so this month, I'm hoping to create a block with a monogram of my initials, which are LJA. And I used a free monogram maker on uh, the internet to kind of help me create these initials. And I'm hoping to trace, this is done with marker on paper, I'm hoping to trace this onto some fabric and then embroider uh, with embroidery for a floss. But before I do that, <clears throat> I'm using the Christian symbol because my faith is Christian. And so I thought I would incorporate that into my monogram. So I drew this symbol of the fish, which is a Christian symbol uh, signifying Christianity. That's what they used in the biblical days, uh, sometimes to identify themselves as Christians because there was a lot of persecution if you were a Christian, so that this was the hidden symbol of a Christian, the sign of the fish. <clears throat> so I'm hoping to create that uh, with this yarn. I have this beautiful purple yarn. I'm hoping to just couch that down in the shape of this fish. And then I want to put my monogram inside. So that's my plan. And I'm going to get started by using this little miniature light box that a friend gave to me. And I'm going to try to trace this monogram onto this little scrap of muslin that I have. So I'm going to get it hopefully in the middle. know if this light is going to bother the video. I hope not. I have a big light box, but this is like a little portable one. It's really nice. Whoops. Now I went and moved it. I'm just hoping to trace over the, the letters here. Probably should kind of take that down. It doesn't move. I'm going to get some masking tape and tape that down so it doesn't move. I could have used washi tape. It wasn't as easily accessible as the masking tape. that will work. <clears throat> and I'm just going to use, probably going to use a dark thread, so I think I will use a pen to trace. I'm just going to trace over, well, oh, it's still moved, I think. this pen is working. It seems like every pen I grab is out of ink. I think it's working because it's a brand new one. Better be. Okay, I just gotta do <clears throat> the A. And we 
should have it. Just have to light off and see. Yep, I think I got it. Very good. Just traced onto the cloth. So now I can use my embroidery floss to stitch. And just move this little white box out of the way. And let's see, what should I do first? Go work on this first. So I'm going to use, um, I think I'm going to use this dark, kind of a maroon color. That'll look good with the purple. Or what other color should I use? Um, I could use a gold color. I think I will use the gold. I'm going to get that and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. And I have some gold embroidery floss, three strands. And I've pinned a little piece of dryer sheet to the back of this muslin. And I'm going to stitch, I think, with a back stitch. I'm just going to start here, <clears throat> maybe do a French knot first, where's that monogram, looks like it's got a little, looks like it's swirled with a little dot in it, so I'm going to hopefully do a French knot right there. Okay, looks good. I'm just going to keep going around on this. This is going to work. Hopefully this is going to turn out to be a monogram. No, this thread is not showing up or is happening here. Seems like I keep making a big dot. I know on the sewing machine you would probably be using a satin stitch. Maybe if I try a split stitch. I think it'll be okay. Just keep persevering.
just want to be sure I stay on the lines. So far, so good. I have a bigger French knot there than I planned, but I think it'll look nice. Hope everyone's having a good day. Hope everyone had a good weekend. This is a Monday where I am, Monday afternoon. And happy that I'm able to get this June project done because it is the 24th of June today. So June is just running away with her, as my daughter's kindergarten teacher used to say, summer's run and winter's walk. And June so far has been running away. But today I have a, a quiet day at home. I'm thankful for because the last couple of weeks have been very busy. I haven't really had time to do much stitching. Oh, I'm just going to continue on around doing this stitching and I will be back to show you the next step. Okay, well, I finished my monogram and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I think it's very um, pretty. I will leave a link below to that online monogram maker. It's free. If you want to try that out. Um, now I'm just figuring out how I want to place this on my block. I was hoping to put it um, inside the fish, but I think my fish is going to have to be a little wider. I might have to get a longer piece of yarn. Sure. I just need to remove this template. See if I can do it without the template. I'm going to need a bigger piece of yarn. Um, I like the way it does. Uh, the muslin frayed on the edges, so I like to keep that look. <clears throat> Let me see if I can make a bigger fish. A bigger one, but a fatter one. Or I might have to create one out of uh, fabric instead of couching. Well, I'm not 
not sure how this is going to work. Could do it like that. But I really don't like how that looks. So, I think I'm going to cut this out of a piece of fabric. And see how that might look. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to trace this, this with my pen, on this fabric, and then cut, cut it out. Hopefully this, I'm not sure that this pen's working. Use this new one. Just tracing it on the back side of this purple fabric. And I can always couch over the top of it if I want to. See what it looks like. is plan B. Yeah. Okay, got it traced. Now I will get my scissors. Where did they go? I fell down. I think these are my fabric scissors. along those lines that I traced. I think I'll just cut this like this without big chunk of it out and then I'll go around it and fussy cut it. <clears throat> Sometimes your ideas sound good until you actually put them into practice and then you have to find a plan B. So hopefully this one will work, otherwise I'm not sure what I will do. have my fish. Now let's see how this is going to look. Is it going to be too big? I think it probably will look better than the couching did. upward, not down. Kind of like that. And this. Hmm. I have to put this down. I'll probably have to cut this just fold it over 
just to make it smaller so it fits on there. I like the frayed edges, but not going to work. So we're just going to trim it down and cut the thread under there. thread. Now let's see how that will look. Yes, that will look better. I think I might even cut the fish down a little smaller. I can do that without ruining it. And then this side. Cutting it a little smaller so it fits on the block better. Pieces underneath. Yes, I like that. I think it looks good. And I will just probably mm, do a running stitch. Stitch this on. this on afterwards. Okay. Uh, now I need some... Maybe I could still couch it down. See what that would look like. Hmm. Good. Not sure. I'm gonna stitch it down first, and then we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna get to get some purple thread. Purple. Oh, I have some purple embroidery floss. Let's cut my finger and probably use three strands.
using divides really easy. Okay. <clears throat> see if I can thread my needle. Sometimes it threads really easy and sometimes I have to use the needle threader. Oops. separating. Okay. Tie a knot and we're good to go. start stitching. Start right here. Maybe I'll just do a whip stitch. Not sure how that'll look. No, I'm going to do a running stitch. I think this will look nice. Yeah. <clears throat> I might go and couch over it, depending on how it turns out after I applique it, applique the monogram. Just gonna stitch around and I'll be back. Okay, so I have some cream colored sewing thread and I'm just gonna stitch this on to the fish symbol. I turned the fish to face this way because I think it'll go better with my other blocks when I put them all together if it's facing this way. So I'm just going to stitch this monogram down now, just some um, running stitches. And then I, I've been thinking I might just do some stitching around the edge of the fish. Just some decorative stitching. I don't think I'm going to couch. And I did take all the blocks and lay them out to see how this one would fit in. And I think it looks very nice, actually. It made me think that I might uh, just make the wall hanging out of these six blocks and then for the rest of the year I think I'm going to try a scroll instead of doing the blocks 
because I've been wanting to try doing a scroll. And this would be the perfect opportunity. I have to, <coughs> excuse me. I was gonna say I have to sneeze and I sneezed before I could say it. Oh. Yes, so I think this will be my last six inch block for this challenge and then I'm gonna try doing a scroll with the next six months. Vanilla's doing a scroll and hers looks really nice. But I started doing these six inch blocks so I wanted to get enough to make a wall hanging. I think this one will kind of finish it off because it's like got my monogram on it so it's like the perfect block to finish with. Take this pin out. <clears throat> so it's been fun though. It's really been fun trying to come up with a scripture verse to go along with her prompts. It's been challenging a couple of months, especially the month for the, that the prompt was relic. But I just asked the Lord, help me. What do you want me to do? And he let me know. So I'm happy with it. And we'll see what happens when I start doing the scroll. I'm not sure what those prompts will be. But it's coming right up. July is going to be here before we know it. So almost there. Happy with how it, this turned out. I really like the fish applique on there rather than just couched. And I think I got all the way around. Maybe one more stitch. is done except to embellish. I think what I'm going to do is just do some running stitches all around just to outline the fish. I still have some more of this purple thread. thread this one. Come on. Oh, it's not going to cooperate. Oh, there it goes. 
bows. Yay. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just start right here. And hopefully I can just do a straight line of stitching all around the outside of this fish. I think it will look nice. Just kind of little decorative look. If I can keep it in a straight line. I like that. And I think I'm going to go around maybe a couple of times all the way around and I'll be back. Okay, well, I'm calling it finished. I really like how it turned out. And I'm glad I added those extra stitches. So now I'm going to go lay it with my other five blocks and I'll bring you along to see. I think I'm going to just make a wall hanging out of these six six by six blocks. And then next month I'll start on a scroll. I think I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to pause it and go uh, lay this with my other five blocks. And I'll let you see what it looks like. And you can let me know if you think it's going to make a nice wall hanging. Well, I'm not sure if it's a really good picture for you to really see what it's going to look like. But I've laid out all six blocks. This was January, February, March, April, May, and June. And I'm hoping to put them together in some kind of a wall hanging. So I just wanted to give you a glimpse. And when I get it done, I will... Uh, post an image on my Instagram for you. If you follow me on Instagram, it's at Leona's Designs. And I will also post an image in the Facebook group, uh, The Stitch With Me 2024, if you're in that group. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you were inspired. And I hope you try to design your own monogram. Um, it was a lot of fun, I thought. And I hope to see you next month for July's uh, Stitch With Me 2024. Not sure what the prompt will be, but it'll be fun because I'm going to start trying to do a scroll. So hope to see you then. Have a great night. Bye-bye.